Hello, this term you'll be off to the Royal Academy of Arts in London to look at Anthony Gormley's sculpture and installation. Gormley's worked as an artist for the last 40 years exploring his body in space. This is the Angel of the North and it's probably his most famous piece of work. It's in Gateshead in the north of the UK and you can see it was made in 1998. This is called I'm Baby, and you'll see this when you go to the Royal Academy. This is a really close cropped shot, but it's a tiny metal baby placed on the ground in the Royal Academy courtyard. And Gormley talks about this little object as a bomb, i.e. it has loads of destructive potential. And he's quite interested that this tiny um, baby is going to obviously grow up and have a whole life, a whole cycle. Clearing is something you'll encounter when you get into the RA and it's important to think about the way Gormley interacts with you as a viewer or a user in this installation. You have to walk or clamber through this to get to the other side. There's a piece of work in a small gallery on the other side and if you want to get there you've got to be brave. You've got to climb through this piece of sculpture. It's four and a half miles of steel and as you walk through it clangs and it pings and it moves and it makes marks on the wall. Matrix is very beautiful. It's in the middle of the exhibition and it is apparently 97% uh, reused, recycled metal. And it's a series of kind of rooms, of voids. It's very disconcerting when you stand under it. You're not quite sure how big, how low it is, whether you're going to hit your head. At the middle of this, there's um, a space, a void which is the size of a European new build bedroom. Sleeping Field is a series of, as you can see, figures that lie down. Gormley pushes the figure as far as he can take it. They're almost kind of pixelated on a large scale. They're not glued, they're not welded together. Each block is just laid on top of another block. He's very interested in making things from industrial techniques. Body in the foreground and a fruit behind and then through the archway you can see some casts of Gormley's own body. This is something you need to uh, go through if you can in the exhibition. It is um, a huge body. You enter through a foot and you come out through a hand. The good thing about it is that you're not quite sure what's going to happen, where you're going to go. You don't know how you're going to respond. You're not sure what he's laid out for you to experience. You can, if you want, walk around the outside, not through the middle, if you don't fancy it. So have a look at these pieces of work. Think about what Gormley's trying to do. So Gormley talks about the body as a site, as a place. He wants to celebrate that. Do you think it works? Do you think this is a successful exhibition? Do you think that it's conservative? Do you think that he could push the body further or ideas of the body? I say the body, but is it universal? Can you identify with these bodies or is it his body? He says it's all about space. It's about the body in space. And as you've navigated your way through the show, you should be thinking about how it works as a show. You are an interior designer. How do the pieces of work interact with the space? How do you interact with the space and the pieces of work? How is light and dark used? Is it well curated? Do you consider it to be spiritual? What is your experience of being there?